Good evening and welcome to the Clayton Center. This is our May edition, 2014, and uh, tonight we have student art. And I'm pleased to be standing here with one of Clayton's finest art teachers. Uh, she uh, is with Cooper Elementary School. And, oh, I hate to do that. Her name is Susan Fontaine. Susan, welcome. Thank you. How long have you been with uh, Cooper? 15 years. Is that right? That's yes, wonderful. Sir. Yes. And uh, tell us about your students. How, how do you get them interested and in, uh, just what's your program at Cooper? Um, well, to get them interested, I believe that they can, they interpret and perceive the, the love and the excitement that I have for the arts and, and I make it exciting and, and a safe environment for them. So they, you know, feel free to, to learn and explore and I think they all have a, a good time. What is your background in the arts? Um, I went to Western Carolina and I got my Bachelor's of Fine Arts and then I got my teaching um, certificate at Meredith College. Wonderful. And you've been teaching for not 25 more, I was years. Say, because you, you Wake County started first. in Wake County. Yes, sir. And you're happy you made the switch? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. We always like to find the people who come <laughs> to Clayton and uh, get converted and yes, so forth. Yes, I'm converted. Okay. Uh, we have one of your students here tonight. Yes, Panacera. Let's bring her in. <laughs> and that crowd goes wild. <laughs> Tell us about Cooper Elementary and working with this lady. Um, well, Miss Fontaine is a really good art teacher. She does a lot of projects, clay projects and bookmaking projects and stuff. And how, uh, how many years have you been taking art? I have been taking art for three years, including this year. And what's your favorite part of art? What do you like to do best? I can't really choose because I like everything. Oh, <laughs> you're still at that stage. You're not specializing yet, huh? Okay. Uh, do you uh, want to continue when you get into high school and maybe even go to college? Yes. And. Uh, study art. Maybe you can take her job one day. <laughs> you think that would work? Yes. You would be a great art teacher. Well, thank you for coming in and uh, tell us about the piece of work that you have here tonight. Well, um, I just like a lot of colors, so I put a lot of colors into the bird. And um, I, once Miss Fontaine did this protractor project and I connected two of them so that inspired me to do connect all the circles and the color wheel. If you're not familiar with what's going on, uh, out on Sam's branch, the, uh, the hiking path, we have butterflies. They've been there since last year. In two Sundays from now, we will be dedicating a whole new bunch of art out there on the trail and it's birds. And that's what she was talking about. She's made a, it's kind of a parrot. Yeah. Yeah, but it's very attractive and you did a heck of a job. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming out and talking to us. And for you. Yes, sir. Thank you for uh, all the work you do with thank these you. children and everything. Thank you. They, uh, they seem to shine when you come into the room, so you must be doing something right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, now I'm pleased to be with uh, two art teachers from Clayton High School. Jane Roberts, who has been there how many years? 15 years. 15 years. And uh, is retiring this year with 30 years of teaching under her belt. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Jane, what a wonderful show you've uh, helped put together here again tonight. Tell us a little bit about what you've done, what's here, and then tell them about the birds, because I know you were very involved in that project. You, you serve on the 
Art Advisory Committee. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, okay. tell us about it. All right, well, I do serve on the Public Art Advisory, but I'll start with a lot of the, some of the show first of all. Um, there are several pieces in the show tonight that have to do with students working together. There's, um, I've been very fortunate in having uh, artists uh, come to my classroom. There are two pieces here tonight that were done with the help of Sandra Honeycutt, a local artist from Four Oaks where students work together and, and um, compile pieces of, uh, little pieces of artwork to make a big piece. Now we were also fortunate to have the Town of Clayton sponsor, Barbara Bailey Hutchinson, where, we, uh, where she came to my classroom in the fall. And you'll, as you see the pieces of artwork that have the butterflies and the cardinal, my students in the fall, as a culmination of her being in my classroom, were able to make those pieces of artwork. So little pieces come together as a whole. And I think it's a, a true reflection of how I feel about working together, making things come together, working with the community, working with students. So I really enjoyed working with those pieces. Also, I was very fortunate this year to have Alan Montague come again. He did the underwater uh, pictures with our students. Um, Alan comes through every year for me, um, working with the Artists in Schools program. And I, I would like to thank the Johnson County Arts Council for sponsoring that and helping us with that. But Alan just always does such a fabulous job with that. So those are some of the, um, some of the pieces here tonight. And, with, and then one of the big feature pieces tonight, of course, are the birds. The, the birds will be replacing the butterflies at Sam Branch. I've been working very hard as a project manager with Cooper Elementary, Powhatan Elementary, Clayton Middle School, and then with Miss Francis class as well. Uh, we have painted probably close to 100 birds at this point, and um, 60, over 60 of those will be installed at Sam's Branch, and then we'll have a really nice display at Millstock, and then you'll be seeing other birds around the area as well. Well, you've been busy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the show, uh, the show reflects that, and I can't wait to see uh, more of the birds. <laughs> we have we probably have, what, 20 birds here tonight? Uh, I think there's 10. Oh. We have one from each school here, and then okay. we have a display on the other wall over there. Okay, all right. Seemed like a lot of birds. <laughs> it feels like a lot. <laughs> on my left is uh, Janine Franz, and Janine is kind of taking her place. So tell us, so uh, you've, you've got one year under your belt now. Yes. How I did have, that go? That went wonderful. It's uh, it's it's a it was exciting, <laughs> and as well working with Miss Roberts on the birds. <laughs> so hopefully next year uh, we don't know the theme yet, but um, it could be caterpillars. That would be a, just <laughs> as just as exciting. All those tractors and skip loaders and all that yes. stuff? Yeah, that would be neat. Oh, no, not the little. Oh, not that <laughs> caterpillar. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Whimsical kind, but that would be, that would be good. Okay. But no, so, I'm looking forward to. Uh, so she's uh, helped you along and yes. uh, think you're ready now. Yes. <laughs> great, great. Jane, it's always a pleasure. Thank you. I wish Same you here. well in your retirement, <laughs> and I wish you well in well, your future at Clayton you. High School. And, uh, I hope you'll continue to come back and uh, support CVA. Absolutely. And CVA wants to support you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As Jane Roberts pointed out, there were four schools represented tonight. The uh, Clayton Middle School art teacher is Tracy Comerford, and uh, she had a commitment tonight. Her husband had a birthday, and she got a note from the principal, and she didn't have to come. And then uh, Mary Catherine Faust is uh, at Powhatan Elementary. And uh, Mary Catherine, as a matter of fact, is Jane Roberts' daughter. And uh, she was uh, teaching an art class tonight 
and wasn't able to be here. But the work is here. It's represented well for those two schools also. And I hope you'll get down here to uh, see it. <clears throat> Next month, our show is going to be on June 5th. And uh, Zabor Varan is the artist. He's been here before, and he's a contemporary artist. Some real interesting things to make your mind spin. He is uh, going to be here for the reception on June 5th, and uh, he will take over the entire gallery. He will do a one-man show. So I hope you'll have an opportunity to come to that. There are two other things coming up on Clayton Visual Arts. We traditionally meet on, at noon on uh, the first Tuesday of the month. And the only problem with that is there are a lot of artists in the area who can't make noon meetings. And uh, we'd like to reach out to them and see if we can uh, get them involved in, uh, in Clayton Visual Arts. So what we've come up with is a night meeting. It's going to be on uh, Wednesday, May 28th. And we're starting out with a really special show. It's going to be held at the Wagner House, downtown Clayton, the beautiful old antebellum home. I think it's antebellum, maybe not. Anyway, it's a very old home. And we're going to have uh, hors d'oeuvres, heavy hors d'oeuvres, a uh, cash bar, and a nice little cocktail party to start at uh, 6.30 that evening. And then uh, about 7 o'clock, we have an artist coming down from Washington, D.C., Northern Virginia is where he lives. His name is Daniel Nee. He's originally from China, came to this country with $25 in his pocket, and he done good. He uh, graduated from Wake Forest, uh, and then went to the American University of Washington, D.C., where he got his, uh, his master's in art and master's in fine art, uh, two different degrees. And he is uh, just an amazing guy. He's not only a full-time artist, but he's also a teacher, an author, uh, a motivational speaker, and uh, I think you'll be interested in seeing uh, the things that he can do in, uh, in the field of art. So it's a, it's a wonderful evening. Uh, we'd like to think the show will be over between, six, between 8.30 and 9 o'clock, so a couple of hours, and I think you'll enjoy it. There will be a fee. It'll be $10 for people attending. The hors d'oeuvres and so forth, uh, it's going to cost us $20 per person. But CVA is going to pay half of that. So if you come out, we'll be glad to subsidize your attendance. And lastly, CVA will be doing their annual Millstock Art and Music Festival. And that will be Saturday, June the 7th. It'll be in Horn Square, right downtown. We will have 30 or 40 artists there uh, displaying their wares. Some of them will be doing demonstrations on how they do their work. We will have uh, seven different live bands. They'll, they'll play about a 50-minute set. Uh, we will have several things for children. We will have chalk art again on the sidewalk. We will have a, a booth where they will be doing, children will be able to do paintings. Uh, we'll have a bounce house for the children. Uh, the mule barn is going to be open and uh, we've asked some people to come in with antique tractors. So there's gonna be something there for everybody. Uh, check out the tractors, check out the art. We have food vendors. Uh, it's just a nice day downtown Clayton and I hope you can make it. That's uh, Saturday, June 7th, Millstock.